Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and we have another Humble Bundle. Now if you don't know already, I basically I decided several months back anything of game development interest that comes out on Humble Bundle, I do a video about. I buy it, I let you know what's in it, and this is no exception. So this one is all about Python programming. Specifically, it is books from No Starch Press, which from my prior experiences have been pretty solid and good books. Although I'm always interested to know what your opinion of a given publisher are. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of No Starch. But anyways, Python programming is the theme here. Now you may be immediately wondering, wait a minute, we've had a couple of Python book bundles in the past. Have we had this one before? And the answer is not really. But uh, so we did have a Python uh, bundle in the past that was O'Reilly books. So obviously that's a different set of topics. And we also had a no starch programmer books bundle in the past, which has a few of these Python books in it. So Python playground, uh, doing math with Python, uh, and cracking codes with Python. We're all in this previous um, Coder's Bookshelf bundle. So do be sure to check to make sure that you haven't already purchased that one, or if you have, just do be aware, you may have multiple copies of a given book. Now, if you don't know how this works, Humble Bundle is arranged around a theme, in this case, eBooks about Python. Uh, you decide which tier you wanna buy. You buy at a given tier, you get all of the tiers below it. You can decide how your money is allocated between the publisher, between Humble, uh, between charity, and if you so choose, to help support Game From Scratch, which if you do, Thank you very much. So let's get into what this bundle is all about. And at the lowliest tier, and that's what's really nice for this bundle, at the lowliest tier, probably the most interesting game development book is there. It's directly about programming games, and it is Invent Your Own Computer Games with Python. You also get Automating the Boring Stuff with Python, Python, Black Hat Python, Python for Kids, and Codecraft, the practice of writing excellent code. Now, one thing to keep in mind is Python isn't used that much in the world of game development. It is used in some engines, uh, such as, um, let's see, there's the Panda Engine in 3D, there's Pygame. Um, it was used in Civilizations 4 or 3, I believe. Um, but it's most often actually used to make build systems around games. It's used very commonly as the build system, kind of the duct tape that holds all of the processing uh, or the, the development process together. So we look here at the $8 tier now. We have Cracking Codes with Python. So once again, this is in that previous bundle. Um, doing math with Python. Python, Gray Hat Python, Python Playground, which was also in that other bundle, and Teach Your Kids to Code. And then finally, at the highest tier, and once again, if you buy at the $15 tier, you get everything at the $8 tier and at the $1 tier. So at the $15 tier, we have Serious Python, and we have Impractical Python Projects, Math Adventures with Python, and Mission Python. So that's actually one of those areas that's nice in this bundle. Even if you're not that interested in using Python, uh, you can use some of these books basically to get you up to speed with the syntax, which would get you, you know, a leg up on learning GDScript, uh, the, the programming language used for Godot is heavily based on Python. And on top of that, we've also got a number of math-related books. And math is pretty universal. It's going to be expressed using Python code, obviously. But if you are looking for, you know, a bit of a math tutor, this is a roundabout way to get those things. So that is the package there. Um, again, the top tier is $15. The charity in this case is actually No Starch Press Own or the Python Foundation, which both, I guess, seem pretty, uh, pretty well suited. So as I mentioned, some of these books are already available in a previous bundle. So if you, like me, buy pretty much every humble bundle that comes along, do make sure you are not duplicating on this one. Um, I don't think there's any way to transfer your duplicate purchases to other people, at least not legally. Um, and then in terms of what you actually get, as I mentioned, I always buy these bundles. This one is no exception. And you can see here that we've got every book here is available in all three major formats, which is pretty nice. So you've got a PDF version, an EPUB version, and a Mobi version. That means if you are using a Kindle, you are set. Or if you're using that thing that is not a Kindle, you are also set. And also, of course, PDF works great on the desktop and uh, in most tablet kind of environments. So uh, this will work in pretty much every setting. Nice thing is, since I got my Kindle, I've noticed you can actually email books directly over to your Kindle up to uh, five or 10 megabytes in size. So do be aware of that some of these you're going to struggle with, uh, but it's kind of nice being automatically able to transfer these over to your Kindle using that email feature. So I do like that, but most of these are actually too big to take advantage of that. And the nice thing again with Humble is they actually store these forever. Um, so you can actually, if you need it, you come here, you go to your bookshelf, you can download the PDF or, or read it directly right here. You know, just click it, it will load it in whatever file format or download it however you wish. Uh, their servers are generally quite quick. So that's definitely a nice thing. Now, another thing about these bundles is you always wanna check to see what you're getting. So again, I said, um, this one is one of the ones that would probably, no, not that one, the games. Uh, the game book, uh, where did we go? 
Uh, invent your own computer. Uh, invent your own computer games with Python is probably one of the most topical for this channel, and you want to see. So that was actually in the one dollar tier, I believe. So let's check and make sure of that. Yeah, invent your own computer games with Python. You're looking, this is the fourth edition, as you can sort of see up here in the top right corner. So you want to compare that to, say, Amazon. And here you see Amazon.com. The Kindle price is $22. So it kind of boils down to, and this is almost always the case with any of these book-related bundles, uh, if there's a single book in that bundle that looks useful to you, uh, it's, it's a bargain for all. You basically get uh, all of the other books completely free. So one of the books here uh, for the $15 tier, or in this case, the $1 tier, uh, this, the current most current version is the fourth edition. So you're actually doing apples to apples and you're looking at 22 bucks for ebook version. Canadian, sorry about that. I don't know why it switched me over. Or So that would be about $18 probably US or you're looking at 30 bucks Canadian for the paperback version. Obviously, these are ebooks we are talking about in this particular case. So that is it. That is the Python programming bundle. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about Python and game development, I did do this feature and video a while ago in the past. Kind of gives you a bit of a rundown of what Python game engines are out there. Now I am including, oh actually I didn't include Godot in this list. I think I mentioned it, but basically Godot isn't technically Python. GDScript is inspired by Python, but isn't actually Python. But you can see here, there are a, a number of 2D frameworks, Pygame, Piglet, Arcade, Pen, um, Penry, and there's binders, bindings for Cocos 2D out there. And then 3D, we have Panda 3D, Blender Game Engine, uh, which has been deprecated unfortunately, and the UP BGE, which is a spin-off of it, all use uh, Python. And then you can see there are a number of programming languages out there, like SF, or sorry, frameworks out there, like SSFML, SDL, Allegro, and PyOgre that all have Python bindings. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about where Python is used in game development, I will link this as well, give you a bit of a head start. I've also got a number of other languages broken down by the, basically the frameworks available for those game engines, or for the game engines available for those languages. Uh, if you want to check that out, the links are at the top of that as well. So so that is it. That is the Python, uh, what is the actually full name? Humble Book Bundle Python Programming by No Starch Press. Again, do make sure that the book you want isn't already in from that previous No Starch Programming book, clever. Uh, but as you can see here, if, if it's another one you're interest, interested in, as long as there is at least one book of value, it all makes sense, no matter which tier you're looking at. So that's it. I hope you found that useful, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye for now.